Well, it's Sunday morning. Uh, gonna plow some snow. Um, we didn't get that much, maybe six or eight inches. I don't know if you can see me all that well here. But uh, we're gonna plow some snow. We're gonna get this uh, 9410 going here, and the milk truck's due back here again in a little while. It's about 2:30. Well, we'll get started here. Yeah, there's only you know, six inches or so, you know, six, eight inches. So it's not too bad. They're talking a foot or better. You know, we still could get quite a bit more. And then, of course, it's going to really suck when the wind kicks up. But, ah. Well, the milk truck was already here. And. Uh, about 11 o'clock or so. Alex Kerr plowed out for him then. We'll just make another swipe here now. There's really not all that much more to plow. Uh, he just did a quick job up here and looks like the milk truck got in just fine. Milk truck's just pulling in now. He's going to be coming up the driveway in a minute. I'm just going to make one more swipe in front of the parlor here. truck right there. He didn't need much help at all <laughs> anyways if he had jeans on, so we'll make a swipe out behind the barns so the mixer wagon can get in. Um, I don't feed on Sundays. The brother will be here in a little while and he'll start feeding. snow uh, after about 11 o'clock last night. My uh, oldest daughter's boyfriend, Alex, he, uh, he plowed here last night. And, uh, we're just making a swipe out behind the barns now. And um, you know, there's, uh, there's not much to have to plow here. And there's only couple inches on the ground uh, since since he plowed at 11 o'clock so feed alleys are all cleaned out they're out piled here the refusal feeds piled here outside 
20 bump around the bumps here, and that's gonna about do it. Everything's gonna be opened up pretty good. And Richard's here now. He's just getting getting going on the feed and uh, just getting everything moved out of the way. We're making a couple of swipes up in front of the commodity shed here, so. part of this job is just getting everything out of the way. Just got done feeding with a 7810 and it, it's um it's not charging so the tractor's dead right now um, we pulled the payloader out he pulled it in here shut it off uh gotta get the battery charger hooked up to it get it going see what we've got going on and uh probably have to get an alternator onto it so we can use it tomorrow morning so we're going to get the battery charger on here and uh, get this thing going. Okay, we're just testing the alternator here now. I've got a, just a battery load tester. This is the quickest thing I have to grab to just check to see how many bolts the alternator's putting out and it's only putting out 10. So we're gonna get the alternator off and there it is making a winding noise. Originally I thought the serpentine belt pulley was bad, but uh, that is turning. At first it didn't look like it was turning. That's not that old anyways. Um, it's Sunday, so I don't, unless Napa has one, um, I'm gonna have to take the alternator off of the uh, 7710. We have an alternator. We have alternators for, you know, like a 4020, 4320, 624K payloader, and an 8020 series. But I don't have a spare alternator for a 7010 series, nor do I have one for, you know, like the 4250. 4450 so um, we'll get that off in there and figure out what we're gonna do it's just shy of nine o'clock so um, we'll give Napa a chance to open up here and if they have one I'll run and get one if not I can just take one off the 7710 easily enough here off in there but you can hear um, I'm going to set this camera and the mic next to it but you can hear I'm going to spin it right now you can hear the gargliness in the alternator so. so we'll go ahead and get the pulley off in there because sometimes these don't come with a pulley so we'll get that off take this pulley off Now, we'll wait for Napa to open up. We'll call them and see if they have an alternator. So, um, yeah.
So hopefully they have one, but it's probably going to be just as quick for me to uh, take that alternator off that 7710 than it is to run after one. So um, I really wish I had one of these um, here on the shelf, but I don't. So the last time we replaced this alternator was July 20th, 2015. 11,753 hours and it's now got 17,194 so we got our money's worth out of that alternator um, so we'll have to figure out what we're going to do here I don't know if uh, Napa's got one I'm just looking up stuff killing time waiting for them to open up here so alright before we go up and get that alternator off um guys was complaining about this skid steer um he said he couldn't get um any rpms out of it so we're running her up wide open only getting 1800 rpms now um what this needs is a uh exhaust filter cleaning it needs the service cleaning which um you have to do uh, with it part that takes sometimes it can take up to four hours so sometimes we have to call the dealer in for this they have to hook the computer up to it to, to force it to do a cleaning now we're going to go into the service codes and on a 318 skid steer this is a 318 e in order to get into the service codes you hold the menu down Now that takes you to the service menu. Ah, crap, that didn't. Yeah, maybe it did. I think it did. Exhaust filter. We're going to select it. Soot level. Let's just check it. Soot level is high. We'll go back. We'll go to select. And we'll select through the exhaust filter settings auto cleaning we don't want that we don't want the part cleaning we want the service cleaning so we're going to select that uh, I think we're going to select disable shutdown because this doesn't have this has got a a key start to it so it's not going to be able to shut down on its own I think we're going to want to select this one. Okay, part cleaning, select to begin. Now, this is where we get monkeyed up once in a while. We'll select it, and um, it won't do it. So, it's thinking. The, the light came on. Okay, it's, it's going to do it. Exhaust filter cleaning. Uh, there's the status bar there. It just elevated the idle now. It's starting out at 11%. So, we should be good. We got enough fuel in it. Um, the machine is outside. So you don't want to do this uh, with a machine in, in a building because um, there is potentially a, a fire risk. So, um, we're going to let that take care of itself. We'll run up and get the uh, 7710. We'll bring that down. We'll cannibalize it, get the alternator out of it, get it in that 7810 uh, so we have that tractor to uh, load feet, to, to mix feet with. Napa uh, did not have um, an alternator. John Deere does have. Um, emergency parts service but there is an ace I did it take me longer to drive there and back than it will to uh, just get the alternator off that tractor and get it in there so all right we're gonna move on to that now all right Joe's just getting ready to go out and plow some snow with this we had a bunch of mud frozen the tracks here sat in here overnight and uh, 
It's got that all cleaned out. Now we're going to tighten them up a little bit. They are a little, a little loose. That's gonna do that. So that's pretty good now. Better than it was. It didn't need much, but all right, we got them tracks tight on that track skid steer. Well that's at 77% the exhaust filter cleaning on uh, the 318E. Now we'll walk up and get the 7710. Get any more interruptions here, I'd be good. So I just got to go up behind the barn up there and and uh, get it. Yeah, we'll get started. Hand yeah, foot change on the John Deere truck, right, boss? All right, so the chains are on there. We're gonna put this sand truck back inside. We got spare pieces and parts of chain here for uh, uh, payloader here, so. 
That ought to help things uh, a little bit. So we should have put them on a while ago, but um, that truck we used to uh, move feed from the bunks to get it closer to the commodity shed. So that really makes a difference when you put them on there. So. All right, so we got 7710 inside. You got the chains on Sarge on the feed truck. You gotta put the sand truck in yet. We're just checking on this skid steer to see how the exhaust filter cleaned. Select to confirm. All right, now we confirm that. Now we're gonna try. Now it gets 2700 RPMs before um, it was only getting uh, like 1800. And uh, so that's done. Now we'll get the sand truck in. Now we can get to our alternator here, maybe. Yeah, we got this one unbolted, unplugged. Ready to come out. that one. Alright, so we got that out of there. I think I can just... Alright, I got that belt unhooked enough. So, I've got that unhooked. That ain't gonna touch the... Hot wire's not gonna touch anything. So I can put my shroud on there and um, I can put the uh, tractor out in behind the shop in the uh, out of order uh, row. And uh, that'll free up this this bay here. So we'll get the hood on it, uh, the the panel on the hood, and uh, we'll pull it outside and slap this other alternator on there. All right, so we got our alternator off 7710. We're gonna put that on the 7810. Got the 7710 parked out back in the um, out of order row out back. Got the key out of it. Once we get a new alternator, we will. Uh, Bring that tractor back inside, slap the new alternator on that, and uh, that'll be back in, in service again. So main thing is we got to get this thing going. Set that there. I've got the hardware in my pocket and the wrenches and everything else. One of these pockets here. tools here. So, it's not tight. All right. All right, so we got our stud on. Bolt 
All right, there's that. Hook up the belt. Alright, we gotta put the tools away and put the side panel on, but before we do that, we're gonna hook the charger up, because I don't think it's gonna start. We can try it. Alright, we can start. Let's see, hooking the charger up earlier. Um, that must have gave it enough juice. Now we need to uh, just make sure it is charging. We got 14 volts at the alternator, so we're good to go. Okay, so we just need to pick up our tools here, get the uh, 7810 and mixer back up to the commodity shed, and uh, see what else we can get into uh, for trouble here. Well, I got stuck with the skid steer here, so...
Alright, the fun's over with the skid deer. These things are about worthless about snow wind. Ah. with the drone I guess so we're gonna set the gator and go and spy on everybody here video folks we had a little bit of fun today plowed a little bit of snow worked on some equipment here and there kind of took care of things as they came along um, it's not too bad though so uh, I guess the real weather is going to set in here tonight we're supposed to get a fair amount of wind um, you know like I said we got like eight inches of snow all together um, I think they were calling for 12 to 24 but with that being said uh thanks for watching uh drop me a comment down below and we'll catch you at the next video thanks again folks we'll see ya